Welcome to this Absolute Beginner's Blender tutorial number 14, part 3. In this tutorial, we'll complete the cage behind the frame of the woofer. Since the woofer looks, since the speaker element looks like this, that's what we want to end up with. And this is what we're starting here. We have the cone created and the frame created. And what's going to happen now is that we choose face mode and we need to find the topmost edge here of this or not the edge but the ring of faces and that's what we we're going to extrude to a dome and then let that dome be broken through to create that cage looking appearance so I'll start by ring selecting those faces, press E for extrude and push it down, and then scale it. E for extrude, and just keep forming it till you get it the way you want it. But remember this since you're <clears throat> since you're dealing with a, a two surfaced scenario you don't have the same freedom of shaping as you have with um, a one surfaced dome it's hard or at least it's harder to select a ring of fa of edges when you have when you have to select two of them you have to go in here and find a way to select both of these well, I think like that No, what's going on? And uh, now I can change this around to scale it to make this dome turn out the way I want it. Of course, I have prepared another dome or set of elements here and um, we'll look first at this one here where some of the work is done. It's completed, extruded and broken through. We'll also extrude a ring and a cylinder down there. And also when we break through here we have to make these faces. like that manually. Which is a little bit of attention to detail there. So this is what it needs to look like. You create the dome, you delete, you go back to the previous okay let's say this is the dome here. Then what you need to do is be in face mode and delete the surfaces. To break through it. And also this ring here. Needs to be extruded. Yes. as a flat ring like that. So we'll go over to here where these already prepared are. And this is the one that has been so to speak finished all the way. And now there's an element I would like to demonstrate something that is of a certain amount of importance and that's this here. If I want to join these two here, um, 
then it may or may not work. If I press Alt F, it didn't work so well. Control Z, and if I if I do Alt Alt right mouse and I pull them closer and press Alt F, then it works. Now let's look at this from the other side and go into object mode. Tab, and you can see that there's a unevenness to this. Go back to edit mode and shift to the see-through version. And if I now shift over to face mode, these are the selected faces, the ones that we had made recently, and then I press Alt-J to go from triangles to quads, and I deselect that look through, see through mood, and then I go back to object mode, and you can see that this unevenness is gone. And that's usually the way it works. Quads will model more smoothly, and that's why I prefer quads. Okay, now this is the look of the complete speaker, the model of it, and in the next tutorial we will put materials on it and uh, make a small animation with it. Thank you, and I appreciate you listening, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.